Welcome to One Book, One Review. Hey everybody, do you remember this? Just before, Lost in a Good Book. Now this is a really nice title and I heard a lot of great things about Jasper Ford, how funny he is and how great his writing is, but I didn't see it. I started it, I don't even think I got very far and I gave up because I had the feeling it's not the beginning of the story. Yes, I was stupid enough to buy a book that wasn't the first in a series. But thanks to these guys, I was persuaded to give Jasper Ford another try and read The Air Affair. And boy, am I glad that I did that. Because this book actually fulfills all the expectations I had in just before it in the first place. And it also explains why I didn't like the other one, or couldn't get into the story. The Air Affair is set in England in the mid-1980s. But the world is not the world as we know it. England and Russia have been at war over Crimea for the last 130 years. Wales is not a part of the United Kingdom. The borders are closed and political relations are tense. Airships are as natural as cars. There's a special operations network with a department for everything. And the Goldies Corporation has a firm grip on England. But the most ingenious difference is the importance of literature in this world. In fact, literature is so important that criminals have discovered its market. Forgeries are so plentiful and lucrative that there's a special operations department dealing only with literary crime. The Litter Attack. And that's where Thursday next works. She's a perfect heroine in that she's not perfect at all. Okay, she served on Crimea and she studied literature and she's really good at her job. But she messed up her private life pretty much when she left the man she loves 10 years ago. And to be honest, career-wise, she's kind of stuck. So of course she's interested when she's asked to help capture the greatest criminal ever, Akron Hades, who was her professor before he turned all evil. I don't want to tell you more about the story because I really like the surprising turns it took. But I really want to recommend this book to you, as it has everything that you want in a book. I already mentioned The Crazy World and Thursday Next, I will not all perfect heroine. Her opponent, Akron Hades, on the other hand, is a perfect villain. He's ruthless, charming, creative, and malicious. His powers and actions are surprising and impressive. The importance of literature in this society is just mesmerizing for every book lover. As are the crimes that Hades commits against the literary characters. And did I mention that Thursday's father is a rogue chrono guard traveling through time? There are just so many things going on in this book, it's amazing. There's just no time for boredom. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend reading it. And if you have, let me know in comments what you thought. And also, tell me if you've ever been as stupid as me and bought a book that's not a first in a series without realizing it. Thank you all for watching to the end and have a very nice weekend. Bye bye.